Hello, this is Congressman John Conyers, Democrat from Michigan. My father was a, an international representative for the United Automobile Workers, UAW, in Detroit, uh, where he came from Georgia, uh, the state of Georgia, to Detroit and began working at Chrysler Corporation. And then he became an international rep when they organized the automobile plants in uh, Detroit in the 40s. And uh, I got involved uh, because he would take me to the union meetings. He'd take me to the July 4th Independence Day celebrations, the Labor Day parades, of which there were plenty in Detroit. You had a very early start. Uh, so I was I was listening to working people early on, and it, it didn't uh, until I finished school and uh, went into the service and came back. I, I I began to put all of this together the the plight of the working person, and uh, now. It seems to have gone around in a circle because the plight of the worker is uh, in a, a very precarious situation. As chairman of the judiciary, He's at the forefront of many important responsibilities that are encompassed by this prestigious committee, such as judicial proceedings, both civil and criminal, civil liberties, and investigating subversive activities affecting the internal security of the United States. As a congressman, he's been present through two impeachments. The first was with President Nixon in the early 1970s, and the second was with Bill Clinton in the late 1990s. Is it possible that he may be looking at a third impeachment proceeding? <laughs> Is it, John? Well, it's possible. It goes to the question of what kind of country are we? You have been uh, really one of the leaders, I wouldn't say of the liberal bloc, but of the Congress itself because you have taken positions that are advanced positions over a period of years, I know. Uh, what is the single uh, most important issue to you today? Well, <clears throat> stopping the war is the most important thing. The whole idea is that we end this huge business. We, we spend 1.8 or 9 trillion dollars, more than anybody else in healthcare, but 47 million people have none, and more than 30 million people are underinsured and don't know it until they walk in needing something and they say, this isn't included. House Concurrent Resolution 57 is a critically important proclamation about the power and meaning of jazz as a uniquely American art form emanating from the African American experience. As the resolution makes clear, jazz bridges cultural, religious, ethnic, and age differences in our American society and across the globe. It has great value for all of us. Having created the music doesn't put you in charge of the economic program. And, and that's a dilemma that faces us in every part of this American economic system, which is now undergoing some serious scrutiny in a lot of other respects as well. We have huge problems about 
uh, the economic system now. It was jazz musicians that recommended that I go into law to begin with, and that they were, it was very foresighted on their part. But I've never stopped trying not only to listen uh, to the music, but to learn it. But the time has come for a new statement about jazz. Look, I wrote that, I don't know how many years ago, but it's time we write a new statement in the 21st century covering this music. And I'm up for it. Are you up for helping me do it? Let's do it. We got enough people to do it here.